How are we going to do this, Jenny? Um. Now, not a brilliant technical start to this vlog. My mic decided not to play ball that afternoon. But apart from missing out on some tremendous chat, as usual, what we're doing will become clear, so just bear with me. So we are vasectomizing a tup today and we'll maybe talk a bit more about vasectomies and teaser tups in the future in a bit more detail but really it's to make the tup infertile but so he keeps his hormones and the advantage of that is you can run him with a bunch of ewes, he will bring their estrus or their fertile period into a much tighter window than it otherwise would be. The flip side of that is of course you get your lambs five, four and a half months later, lambing over a nice tight period, which for some people works really well. Jenny doesn't have much use for him, especially as he's infertile. So this is some way to sort of give him a few more years on farm. And as she said, he's a very quiet, docile tup. We'll go have a look at him. His name's Cyrus. So you can probably see there, he is a big old sheep. We, this is exactly where we were when we were blood sampling those ewes. And you can, you can see the difference in the weather. It's tremendous today. Right, as you have seen, Cyrus is being prepared for surgery. This means trimming any excess hair or fleece from the area and then giving it a good thorough scrub. We're using a chlorhexidine based disinfectant. The end result is some of the cleanest balls in the Coquit Valley. Now, Cyrus isn't anaesthetized for this procedure, he's just sedated. We're using a drug called xylazine. This drug blocks the same receptors that adrenaline, remember that's your flight and fight hormone, would normally stimulate. And you can see how it has the opposite effect here. Cyrus is well doped for his vasectomy, as we would all want to be. And for extra security and to stop him kicking Jenny, his legs are secured to the pallet he's sitting on as well. Next is the local anesthetic. Now this numbs the area. Jenny injects a couple of blebs around her chosen incision sites. Afterwards, he gets a final scrub to help distribute the local anaesthetic and help it work, as well as for added cleanliness. Jenny then gets a chance to scrub up herself for the vasectomy. Now, into the procedure itself. The aim of the game here is to isolate the vas deferens, which is the tube 
carrying sperm from the testicle to the penis. Its name literally means the vessel which carries away. Once it's been isolated, we cut a section of it out to prevent that transfer happening again. Ectomy, as in vasectomy, means any procedure that cuts something out. So vasectomy, we are literally cutting out the vas. The same logic applies to an appendectomy, which is where an appendix is cut out of a human, or a tonsillectomy, where we're cutting out the tonsils. Each vas is reached by a separate incision through the skin. After this, blunt dissection through the connective tissue means Jenny can reach the spermatic cord. This is a bundle of vessels, nerves and ducts attached to the chromaster muscle. This strap-like chromaster muscle is what allows testicles to ascend or descend according to the ambient temperature. Once that bundle is secured, the vas deferens is identified by its characteristic consistency, a tough stringy vessel which flicks between the thumb and forefinger. A nick is made using a scalpel blade to free the vas from its membrane. In this case, Jenny simply sections as large a portion as she can from the vas, although more commonly, the vas will be tied off with absorbable sutures. You can see how once Jenny gets the vas freed, she can express semen from it. This is another way of verifying you have the right tube. The skin is then closed before the second incision is made. In this case, a continuous pattern is made using absorbable sutures again, although skin closure will vary between vets. Then, as if by magic, the second side is done and sutured back up. Of course, the final and most important part of the whole procedure is then performed the topical antibiotic blue spray. So that's him really. Ideally, with teasers, you want to leave them six weeks. That has to make sure they clear their tubes of any viable sperm. Saying that, we have had clients use them much, much quicker than that, but we would always say get them semen tested before we put them out, just in case there's a risk of some unexpected early lambs. But that means Cyrus, come this autumn, can hopefully go to a new home and he can play a bit of a role as a teaser because unfortunately he, uh, he missed the mark as a breeding tup but you should have plenty of use as a teaser to someone. No. So um, we always keep the cords just in case. And so I always mark up a, a the simplest thing is a blood tube and we um, preserve them in formalin such that if there's any, ever, any worry or doubt that we um, uh, haven't taken the right bit or whatever, then we can get this uh, histopathology done on this and make sure it is definitely yeah. the cord. And the cheapest, simplest way is to just put them in a blood tube and fill them full of formalin. Um, but you can see the, it's uh, it just, nothing else feels the same. It's this fibrousy, you know, you can't put your thumb through it and you'll see it like roll through your fingers. And that's the just the fibrousy cord. I've got a little bit of a blood vessel with this one as well, which makes it look a bit thicker. Um, and the other thing to do is just to squeeze it out and yeah, you, get a bit of, you get a bit of sperm in the uh, uh, semen exactly in right, the... Good. This is like our vet insurance policy, just exactly. to make sure we've, uh, we've done the job. I have been involved in a case of a teaser that someone thought that it hadn't been, um, he hadn't been vasectomised correctly and it turns out that next door neighbour's tub had been in overnight. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so it's always worth uh, just keeping them just in case because once yeah. they've gone, they're gone. Once they're in the bin and, and disappeared, they're they're sort of gone. Yeah, exactly. Good. Cyrus is still pretty chilled out down there. He'll uh, he'll come round shortly. <laughs> That's everyone's favourite there. That's 
tot tot of course to weather with his with his uh is it park now? Is that what they call it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see Cyrus there a bit dovey but you know up on his feet within minutes. So job done. Cyrus can find a new home. If you need his warble teaser, you know where to find him. <laughs>